Good night, Isara. How are you, girl? How you doing, my baby girl? So far, is it good? Hi, teacher. I'm pretty well, and you? Ah, pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. Yeah, at least it's, it's raining here. It's raining. And yes. <laughs> A lot. Um. So so. Ooh. So so. Oh, okay. Hopefully not, yeah. right? <laughs> Yeah, hopefully not. Yeah, I know, I know. It has been raining also here. I was uh, a little bit scared because it was like the the lights went on and off, on and off. So I was like, I was like, hopefully, uh, I will not have to like reschedule the class. Yes. <laughs> but thanks God we didn't do that as a situation because to be honest with you, it's really hard to reschedule it. But I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy. All righty. We also have e Luis Fernando. Luis, I want to see your face. I don't know you. It's sorry, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, but I don't see you. I cannot see you. Yeah, I'm so sorry, but uh, I don't have uh, any camera. I have uh, connected to my computer. Uh -huh. uh, right now, and I don't have uh, a webcam to... You don't have a webcam, and your computer, no. it is a desktop or is a laptop? No, it's a desktop. It's a desktop. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I I, uh, I bought uh, a webcam uh, two, weeks, two weeks ago, but mm -hmm. I bought in in internet, and uh -huh. well, they, and that, that the camera uh, eh, eh, Came here to El Salvador. Will will come to El Salvador in, I think the next Monday. Next Monday, ha. Yeah. Ha. So maybe next Monday we'll have a pleasure to meet you, right? Maybe I don't have that <laughs> promise, but I can my best effort. You will do your best, yes, because I want to see your face. I don't know you, but yeah, I'm so yeah. glad that I, you are here. Sorry. And then you will not have no excuse, Luis. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, but that's okay. Thank you so much for letting me know that because I know now that why, what, or what's the reason you had, you would not be basically able to turn on your video. But that's okay. Okay, okay. until next Monday, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Let's cross our fingers and our toes just in case. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here in today's class. I really appreciate it, Luis. We have an Alexander also here. We have Claudia. We have Carlitos Alberto. We have Glendy. Hey, Glendy. Hi, girl. You're just walking, right? Hi, good evening. Hey, good evening. Are you looking to the most comfortable place at home? Are you at home already? Are you in your house? My sister house. Your sister's house. Hey, are you visiting her? <laughs> ah, I'm so happy. Say hi to her, okay? But are you are looking for a place to receive classes? Okay. A quiet place, right? Hopefully. <laughs> Maybe in the bedroom or I don't know, or in the yard. Could be. You know what jar is? Yard? Do you know what that means? The yard? No, Claudi, Isaura, Janelle. Thank you. Yeah, Ida, you know what jarred means? Jarred? Oh, no idea. Patio. you. The jarred, you know what that means? Patio? Yeah, good. Exactly. But we have front jarred and we have back jarred, remember? Yes. For example, do you remember the, um, I think there are like cartoons, Bajardigans, do you remember that? Have you seen the Bajardigans with your children or with your nephews or niece? Mm -hmm. Bajardigans, do you remember that? Hey, David, good night. 
Oh my lad, you look different today. You look handsome. Ooh. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Is it raining where you're living right now? Is it raining? Yes, it's uh, raining. It started uh, uh, 10 minutes ago. 10 minutes ago? Yes. Hopefully it does not affect the internet connection or the audio, right? You know what? I hope so. I, I was really worried because I was in a meeting. And it was and ended up at 8 30 p.m. So I was like, oh my God. And it started raining a lot. But it gave me like um uh it, but it has stopped for a while for around 10 minutes. So it gave me the opportunity or to arrive to the class. But right now it's gonna start raining again. So hopefully nothing happens. Hey guys, today, thanks to Saulito. We're going to have a speaking activities, right, Saulito? <laughs> and Saulito, you look like... And Saulito. <laughs> he, he looks so scary, right? Like, uh... <laughs> hey, guys, I, wanna, I want you to turn on the cameras. The, the ones that are able to turn on the cameras, please turn it on. So I want David, Gladys, Claudita, Carlos Alberto... Jonelle, you are you able to turn it on if you're not in uh work? That's good. Christian, all righty. Ida, if it's possible. And Isaura. Hey, guys, tell me. Let me ask you something because I'm really Teacher. concerned about Teacher. that. Teacher. Yes, Ida. I'm sorry. Uh, in my case, I I received my glasses from my, my, my room. And my oh, husband your room. is really, really shiny. <laughs> and it's messy. <laughs> okay, right now it's a complete disaster. <laughs> okay, don't worry, that's Thank okay. You. You're welcome. All righty, Glendy, Claudi, Carlos Alberto, if if it's possible that you can turn it on your camera, I really appreciate it. Because I want to know you, guys. I want to know you. All righty. Please, Carlito, and please, Glendy. Hey, Christian, good night. How you doing, my man? Pretty good. Hey, teacher, good night. Good night, guys. Okay, Saulito, I know that you have a face like what? What are you talking about, teacher? <laughs> okay, guys, today is gonna be basically speaking activities, speaking activities, group activities, pair activities. You're gonna work together as a team. You're gonna be practicing everything that we have seen so far. So today you have two options: or speak. Or speak. Which which one you will prefer? Speak. I speak. Okay, but ah, uh, but you know what? I I'm seeing your faces. Is everybody tired right now? Are you tired? Yeah. Christian, Gladys, Claudia, David, are you tired? Be honest. Are you hungry? Yes, Isaura, look at her face like I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. What happened with the chicky and the and the Oreo cookies? David, are you hungry? Um <laughs> why do you ask for Are you hungry? <laughs> you know, it, it's because of your face. You have a like mm, <laughs> like a tired face right now? Yes, I'm really tired because I went to Ciudad Merlio. And the traffic was terrible. Ooh. So you went me, to a lot, okay. It took me two hours uh, to go uh, to go there uh -huh. and to arrive at uh, home again. So it uh, took you two hours back and forward. Yeah, I, I'm yeah, I'm talking about four hours, spending on traffic. And David, let me ask you a quick question. It's not that I I'm, I'm, I would like to be like, but where do you live, my friend? Well, I live in the south of San Salvador. This place is called San Marcos. Ah, San Marcos. Yes, I know it. Is it really oh, a fresh place? Yes, it's really great. I really like the, the weather mm -hmm. because in the afternoons are so windy because of the planet that renderos right up. Oh, yes, you're right about that. Ooh, exactly. And you're basically going to um, Amarillot, right? 
Yes. Is because you work there? Well, I work um, selling um, some mm -hmm. products online, mm -hmm. and I uh, take uh, to the customers' task. Ah, so you deliver to them. You bring yeah. your, um, what they order directly to their office or their home addresses. Yeah, I do the deliveries in all of San Salvador mm -hmm. and out of Salvador. Uh, but mostly right here in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. Most products that I deliver. Yeah, and it depends on the time. Sometimes it's going to ease a huge traffic, right? Yeah, like I have traffic to fight, jam. I have to fight with the traffic now uh, almost every day. <laughs> I know. You, you're stuck in a rush or caught in a rush. You know what caught in a rush means? No, I don't have an idea. What Cutting it a is. Rush. Have you have you heard about that expression? Like when the the traffic jam, uh, the the uh, the hour of the, the a lot of people uh, go out in the same. No. How kind many? of. Kind. <laughs> yeah, you have yeah. the idea. Okay. But uh, besides Ida, have you heard about that expression? I was caught in a rush. No, no ideas. All right. Uh, um, when when it, it's a, a lot of people uh, uh, give the, the, the I'm sorry, pidiendo lo mismo como la hora pico que decimos nosotros. <laughs> kind of, kind of. <laughs> but but yes, it, yes, it is related to traffic. You're right about that and related to a traffic jam. But when you said, for example, that expression, instead of giving us, for example, the whole story about I was in a traffic jam, then I was stuck in traffic and blah, 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 blah. Instead of you're giving us the whole explanation, cutting a rush for us means that you are right, that you are stuck in traffic, and the traffic was really, really hard and heavy, that you cannot make any movement. You cannot go forward. You cannot go back. For example, like even in Spanish, we said, vuelta de rueda. Right? We are kind of in a rush. And we understood that you were in a heavy traffic, that you can do move anywhere. Como, like an example, like in a Salvador style barado, barado in the traffic, que no te puedes ni mover, porque ni una mala se mueve, entonces estás barado ahí. That is a caught in a rush expression, yeah? So when you're saying, hey, teacher, I'm sorry, but I was caught in a rush, I already understood what happened to you with that expression. It's really important, guys, that you learn also some expressions, some idioms, uh, because basically that will save you time and it will send you and also will increase your vocabulary as well. So now, guys, you learned a new expression. Caught in a rush means that you're stuck in traffic and you cannot move. As simple as that. So you knew, you, Now you see, now you have a new expression. Caught in a rush. All righty. So you're increasing your vocabulary. It, this is like a heavy traffic jam, we can say, a heavy one. Hey, have you heard that expression before, Saulito? Uh, no, I just heard about the, it's a, it's a bad traffic, something like that. Uh -huh. Yes, it's you can fun. also say that traffic jam, but this expression, it will save you time to explain why you are late, for example, why you are late to an event, why you are late to work, what you are late at home. Imagine, for example, Black Friday, right? Or every Friday in the afternoon after it's raining, you're caught in a rush, my friends, right? <laughs> yeah, look at David. So David... Basically, it took you two hours to come back and forward. Like if you were basically driving to um to Sulu Town, right? From the um, the same time. Yes, teacher. Ooh, wow. The, the traffic was heavy. 
but sometimes um yeah. I have to go to to those places, Merliot, mm -hmm. uh, Colonia Escalon. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's really near to me. Mm -hmm. For example, downtown and mm -hmm. uh, and some malls near my home. And it's it's really great. So basically like. it depends of your delivery schedules. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, where the people ask for the, the things that they want. For example, sometimes I have to take the, the things that they want to their jobs. Mm -hmm. During and, working hours, for example. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. I know, it's pretty heavy. And the gas is a little bit expensive right now. Yeah, but I'm so happy, David, that even though it was really hard day for you, you made it. You made it to the English class. And when I see your face, I'm like, yeah, Dave is here. Woohoo! Also, Christian, Isaura, Mr. Saulito, that I know is really hard for him. Carlita, Isabel. Hopefully, Isabel already had her dinner, just in case. If not, don't worry. It's valid. Claudita, Jonel, Ida, Mr. Luis, Carlitos, Raulito, Glendy, and Nubi. Nubi, I want to see your face. Also, Carlitos, please, if you don't mind. Raulito as well, please. And Claudi, I want to see everybody's face. Because I'm taking that into consideration if you're following instructions. I'm taking that for your for your scores. It's really important for me to follow instructions. If you do not follow instructions, you're going to be in a huge trouble with me. It's not that I want to punish you, right? It's because I need to let you know how the role works. All righty. Very good. Guys, um, do you remember what we were talking about yesterday? Any idea? Any recap? Anybody? Volunteer? Only one. I need only one. Only one. I, you don't remember what we were talking about yesterday. <gasps> And it was yesterday, my friends. I can, I, I can take it to ratio for what week ago, but yesterday, ooh, ooh. Oh, it's passive. Passive boys. Okay, what else? Uh huh. Present continuous. Present passive continuous boys. Continuous with passive boys. Uh huh. What Present else? Present perfect. Present perfect. Present perfect, but what else? Preposition. Aha. Uh -huh. What else? We're basically yesterday we were talking about grammar. Grammar, exactly. Do you remember about pronunciation and intonation by any chance? Oh, yes, teacher. That was, that was, yes, yes, uh-huh. Guys, do you remember that yesterday we were basically doing a lot of listening activities? And we were talking about environmental problems. Do you remember that? I gave you like yes. examples and you just got to pick which one that person was talking about and everything. Okay, guys, talking about environmental programs, today... We're going to make a basically um a speaking activities. So I'm about to send you some information in regard to that. Do me a favor. I just send you right now a chart. Do you see that? Do you see the chart that I send you to you right now? Yep. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. That chart, guys, basically contains the following. We have the problem, which we have it on the left side. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think so. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, ten problems. And basically, you have three options. Very concerned, fairly concerned, not concerned. Guys, do you understand the meaning concern? What does yeah. it mean? Alex? Seguro, estar seguro. Mm. ¿Qué le concierne a uno? No, con... mm -mm. 
ya no, no inventen. <ríe> Concern means preocupado, que te preocupa. Ajá, mira, concern, concierne. Ash. <ríe> Ni le llegaron, hombre, qué barbaridad. <ríe> All righty. So, very concerned is that you really care about something. Fairly concerned is like, and not concerned, que no te importa. As simple as that. Now, guys, talking about the problems. Do me a favor. Do you understand the whole meanings or all the meanings of the chart that I sent it to you? Do you understand all the problems? Yes or no? Do you have any questions regarding a specific vocabulary for that? ¿Alguna pregunta con respecto a un término que no es que está allí, que no entienden? Me teacher, uh, the last one, poverty. Pover one. Poverty. Po poverty. Pobreza. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. What about... Like, like me, like me. That's it. All right. What about fanning? Famine. The third Feminist, one. Feminist. Feminist side. Well, you know what that means? When, when, when San Bruno. San Bruno. Exactly. San Bruno. Mm -hmm. Correct. Exactly. All righty. What about, let me double check right now. What about drug trafficking? Traffic drug. Drug. Mm -hmm. Global warming? Oh. Global warming? What does it mean? Calentamiento global. Mm -hmm. Infla inflation? Inflation. All righty. Overpopulation. Mm -hmm. Political oh. unrest. What does it mean? Political unrest. Political. Aha. Uh Aha, -huh. uh -huh, but what does it mean? ¿Qué significa? What does it mean? Aha. Uh -huh. No lo vayan a googlear, please. Um, no, I'm not sure. You're not sure? Okay, just, just let me know. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Nice. Ajá. Inestabilidad política. Ajá. You see? Brand new vocabulary for ya. Ajá. Anything else? The rest is, is understandable? Yes? Okay. So, guys, I'm going to join you. I'm going to make some groups right now. Okay? I'm going to make a groups. And basically, what we're going to do is I'm going to put you in pairs. Te voy a poner en parejas. What you're going to do? Discuss. You make the questions and you answer. And then you and then the other person makes the question and then you answer. All that you need to do is just cancer. Are really concerned? Fairly concerned? Or not concerned? Just make a check. Okay? I want you to talk about all the topics. I'm going to give you only five minutes for that. No more than that. And then we're going to come back together. Y ya, ya van a ver lo que voy a hacer después. Understood? Sí? Démosle pues. Ah, gracias a mis queridos Raulito. We're going <laughs> to do some speaking activities. How many we are right now? We are 16, right? 15 with me. 15 with me. Let's see. How many groups? A group or seven? A group of seven. Seven, seven groups of a couple. Seven groups of couple. Okay. All righty. Let me assign it. Okay. 
It's already been assigned it. Please accept the invitation. One group will have three. And then practice what I sent it to you. We'll give you only five minutes. Please accept the invitation, guys. David, Janelle, Samuelito, Raul Antonio, Glendy, Flores, Carlitos. Everybody, please accept the invitation. Please accept it, okay? Raulito, Carlitos, and David, and Janelle. Okay. I I don't hear you very well. My internet is not too good. Um, uh, I don't understand very well that we have we. Uh, ¿Qué es lo que íbamos a hacer? Perdón. Este ah. entre al WhatsApp Luis eh, ahí ahí mandó un cuadro la ficha. Entonces ¿Sí? están los problemas. El cáncer, ah, okay. el traffic, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Entonces vamos a poner check en, en lo que nos concierne, very concert, highly concert, not concert. Uh -huh. Ok, de acuerdo. Y eso luego lo compartimos, ¿cierto? Eso está preguntando el compañero si usted está de acuerdo que es very concert, eh, cancer. Ah, eso ok. Está uh... Si usted está de acuerdo en eso. This, uh... Found the solution, uh, kill the person. Yeah. It's necessary, it's about that you know that when the, the sick is, uh, is uh, level, uh, it's uh, when, when, it, uh, when we talk about the, the habit or flu, we use sick. Okay. But when you talk about the, the, the terminal uh, six, you uh, use illness because this when okay. you, when the, the, the sick is really really hard. Okay. 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 No cancer. <laughs> poverty. 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 Um. Very concern. Okay. Mm -hmm. Finish. Yes. Christian and Glendy, are you working together right now? Are you working, Glendy? Are you working, sure. Christian? Dime. Lo que entendí es que del cuadrito que usted mandó vamos a preguntar eh, un uh -huh. ejemplo. Yo, yo le pregunto a ella y ella me responde. Correcto. Y, y de ahí ella me pregunta y yo le respondo. Es correcto. Es correcto. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, Glendy, eh, no sé si puede encender su micrófono. Espero que Glendy esté allí. Sí, yes, thank you. Very good. Okay. Eh, Lo vemos, pues todo, todo nos afecta bastante. Ah, uh, yes. 
teacher. I think all the for problems you, are very concerning. For, for you, uh, what is the most important? Or, How was the activity? Was it good? Was it interesting? Yeah, yeah teacher. Yeah. All right. You speak between you, which is really good. All righty. Now we're going to do something. Now that you had time to talk about the problems between you and your pair, I'm going to join you. I'm going to join you with another group. So we'll be more people talking about that. You're going to basically uh, share the information that you talk with your partner to the other team that you're going to be added to, okay? It could be the same person. It could be another ones as well. I'm going to pick. But guys, I'm going to, I'm going to evaluate uh, speaking. I'm going to evaluate how basically um, seriously you're taking these exercises. And I'm going to evaluate that you are there. That you're physically there. Okay, so when I, when I send you to a group, it's not just to take a relax. It's for you to practice. That's the, each, that's the main situation. And if I detect that you're not doing something, ooh, ooh, you're going to be bad with me. Tell me. <clears throat> so I'm so happy that you're doing the best that you can, okay? I'm going to share, to open another groups, and we're going to work together again. Okay, let me double check. Let me work. All righty, I'm going to create a new one. There you go. Let's see what I have. Okay, is everybody here? There you go, there you go, there you go. I think I'm going to stop right now. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to create it once again, okay? So don't worry, don't go anywhere. I'm gonna put it like this, yes. I'm going to assign automatically right now. I will create only five groups. That's enough. Let me put four persons or three, depends. Okay, let me just select the other one. Okay, let me select this one really quickly. All righty. And the last ones. It will be only two groups of two. The other ones will be four in total. All right. There you go. Please accept the invitation if you don't mind.
Samuelito, please join the class. Let's see, I'm going to assign it to a group. Okay, I sent it to you already the invitation, Samuelito, please accept the invitation. Hola, David. Alrighty. David, Carlitos, Christian. Carlito. Todos se fueron, teacher. teacher Are they gone? Uh, no, Carlitos, ahí está. Estoy aquí, pero eh, honestamente no entendimos. David, eh, ¿dónde Claudia, estás? No Claudia te vayas. Claudia está preguntando qué vamos a hacer. ¿Se acuerdan que <laughs> yes, ya pusieron teacher. en grupo? Eh, I not lo understand. ¿Lo la vez pasada? Lo que acaban de hacer con sus compañeros, hablaron okay. del cancer de sí. verdad del global warming etcétera pero estuvieron sí. con otras personas que no son estos chicos entonces van a compartir lo que otros piensan si están very concerned hardly concerned o not concerned y también sus compañeros a ver qué opinan yo necesito ir a ustedes a hablar todos Así, yo le mandé la información en el whatsapp chat David ahí está el short ahí está la información si usted está en WhatsApp, genial. Tiene que, tiene que buscar ahí la información. ¿Sí? Van a hablar acerca de ese tema. Okay. Quiero que entre todos comenten acerca de cáncer, por ejemplo. ¿Te preocupa el cáncer? ¿No te preocupa? Más o menos. That's what I want. I want you to speak in English. ¿Ok? Voy a volver ahorita con los otros chicos, pero ya vuelvo de regreso con ustedes. Ok. When the the people the people not think in the in the no sé cómo se dice eso consecuencia consequence no ajá uh -huh. consequence I don't know. consequence because the people only cut the tree and they don't think about the consequence 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 no sé cómo se dice <laughs> <laughs> and no problem, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. And, and, and then the problem is the, the place is very hot. I think. Yes. <laughs> it, it, it's in Lourdes right now for the, um, uh, the construction, the new rock trip. It's um, the problem it, when the the people think about the con, con, construir the building, the building, the building, the house, the house, and, 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 don't, and they don't think about the damage. Yes, damage the, the, the natural. The planet, it, the planet. Planet. The plan, okay, the, the plan. Yes, I, I told you this moment in the Lourdes Cologne uh, are make uh, the construction for the or ampli the 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 street the strip for the new uh, uh I don't know the strip the Lourdes the chorros and the new the building the uh, I don't know how to say the uh, viaducto. Mm. In this moment, the mob uh, are the the amplio. Uh, I don't know say ampliar. I don't say ampliar. Está ampliando la calle. Okay. And for this, uh, they are the old trip in the in the middle. Uh, they are uh, kill <laughs> this trip. Uh, ellos están quitando los árboles que están en medio de la, del arriate de Lourdes. Han quitado como más de mil árboles ahorita para it, ampliar la carretera. It's, the very, Arbol... it's a big problem because they don't think about the consequence. And in this, in this case is is uh, uh, a big damage 
to the planet or the city? No, the planet. I the city <laughs> too and the planet too. Okay. Uh huh. But um, I don't know. It's because as uh, one uh, more uh, traffic then, in the, in the, uh, then, for the population. Yeah, and then the people say it's very hot. It's very hot. And they don't think the the Okay, is everybody back home? I want everybody to come back home. The home page. All right, tell me, how was this experience now? Was it much better? You spoke it with another was, co-worker, was. right? You're sure your ideas. I I heard Isaura, she was like, she really was really inspired. <laughs> also Alex, also Frank. Yeah, that's awesome. Very good job. Now, guys, that we have finished talking about that, tell me, um, which problems concern your group the most? Frank, which problems concern your group the most? Oh, okay. We are uh, talking about from this um, uh, weather. The weather, uh-huh. The weather, the deforestation. Mm -hmm. The global warming, basically. Uh -huh, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem from this, the consequence from this uh, every, uh, for the the people and government and only cut the tree in this the weather is the hot no water no for the Sylvester is uh fauna mm -hmm. no so fauna. This, very good this. okay only that only that good thank you Carlita what about you what is the main concern for your group we see uh, government corruption, inflation, mm -hmm. poverty. All righty, very good. And so, David, what about you? Teacher, <laughs> in my group, we didn't work. Lo ahorcamos, ¿qué les parece? Dele, con todos los poderes. Parranda. Vaya, pero about that. Are you concerned about <laughs> cancer, global warming, political unrest? What are the, to the topics that you can see on the WhatsApp group? Which ones you really care? Or which ones are really important for you? Tell us. I, I think about the global, global warming. Mm -hmm. Why? <laughs> because it's a um, very bold problem. Because um, if this happens in the mm -hmm. future, maybe it would be impossible life in this planet. Mm -hmm. And in the solar system, is the only Earth is the only planet that can have a, a life. Mm -hmm. There's no other one. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So for me, it's a big concern about the global warming. Yeah, definitely. You're right about that. And many of your classmates are agree with that. Alex, what about you? To me, the main, the most problem is the drug trafficking. Okay, why? Tell us why. 
because draw uh, contaminate the cause um, unhealthy people, the cause crazy people, the cause um, poverty, the cause, um, I think, um, unhappy people, you know, everything. Mm -hmm. So that gets uh, um, everything get down, I don't know. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, we understood you. Yes. Yeah, that is a really, really huge problem that we need to concern about, especially for young people, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. but yeah. but but drug traffic is not only related to young people, also adults like us, right? Yeah, exactly. Politics, yeah. singers, yeah. artists. Every, every... Uh -huh. Yeah, they do not respect any social status or country. Yeah. Mm -hmm, I know. Yeah, and yeah. it's really hard, right? And expensive. Yeah, and it, it's expensive mm -hmm. too now. It yeah, is expensive. And it, and it's, um, it needs to broke many mm -hmm. people that uh, um, go to the uh, bankrupt. I don't know. Goes to bank. Goes to bank. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you're right about that. Thank you so much for sharing. Isabel, what about you? What was the main concern for your group about all the topics that we shared in the WhatsApp group? In in my group, I talk with the weather and the deforestation and traffic and construction for the road and los chorros. <laughs> los chorros, ah, yes. <laughs> oh my god, yes. yes. It's horrible the traffic there. Oof. Yes, today the traffic horrible, awful. Oh, no. I can't. I can't imagine that. Oh, oh. All righty, Ida. What about you? Okay. okay. In my case, I consider the the, the most important situation is cancer. Mm -hmm. Because it, I consider the different situation that we. Yes, you're right about that. Thank you so much, guys. So basically, if I understood you correctly, the 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 most concerned topics as what you have let us know is uh drug traffic jumps uh, with drugs, right? Global warming, exactly, and cancer, right? And maybe you were also concerned about uh also politic political unrest, right? So tell me, guys, talking about global warming which is causes basically cancer as well skin cancer for example all right so tell me what will be um the best solution or what will happen if the problem isn't solved for example in the case of global warming deforestation what happens if we do not solve that problem right now what happens if we do not solve cancer if we do not solve, for example, drug traffic, what happened? What will happen? 
Can we do something about it right now? Do you have any opinions about how we can solve that problem? In your own words, of course. Any idea how we can solve it? Global warming, for example. What do you recommend to solve that problem? What will be your recommendation? What we can do about it? Flat, flat to mm -hmm. Okay, that's one. What else? What else we can do? For example, what we can do to, to solve cancer. cancer. Can we do something to fight for cancer? What type of cancer? Because we have a different type of cancer. Skin cancer, throat cancer, right? Stomach cancer, colon cancer, lumps cancer. <laughs> Hello. I think we we can we can uh, we can make a solution for cancer because it's the it's a very bad sickness. Mm -hmm. but we can control a little bit more the the sickness. Uh huh. About uh, uh, the bus uh, getting a um, Going to the doctor and get a vaccine every, you know, every month or every year. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you to to get like a checkup, like a medical checkout. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's good. Can yeah. we prove, guys, what we eat? Can we try to eat more healthy, for example? Because can you, for example, I remember, guys, that when my grandma, oh, when my parents grow up, they used to eat more healthy. For example, there was less contamination on the fields. If they were hungry, for example, and they were starving, they went to a tree and take out an apple, an orange, a banana. But nowadays... Do you think that the young people or the kids eat healthy? No, if you're starving, you... what do they do? What do they do if you're starving? Let's let's think about the young people. If they're hungry or a kid and you're starving, they go to the grocery store and ask for a soda and a snack. Is it healthy? I'm not telling you that you're not going to do a, 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 that on any time. Of course, sometimes we like to eat cookies, snacks, soda. But do you think that the young people are eating health, well and healthy? That's no, a question. Just see. Yeah. I, I think that they, a lot of women have problems because they prefer to checks your cell phones and all the mm -hmm. social networks and can the kids uh, are uh, play play on the, the playstation mm -hmm. or maybe different or uh, different situation and they uh, she she says so uh, that the them moms prefer to, to to get money and they buy uh, snacks, uh, maybe soda, if it's healthy food, it's, it's really out in this, this house. Okay, exactly. For example, guys, we are living in a really busy life right now that everybody is running, right? Everybody do not have time to prepare food at home, for example, for breakfast, for lunch, for example. And what is easy? Just arrive to work and eat in the cafeteria, breakfast, lunch, and sometimes eat dinner. Sometimes you don't want to cook. Let's ask for a pizza. Let's ask for hamburgers. Of course, they are really nice. It's your yummy. I, I, don't, I don't regret about that. But can you imagine eating that every single day? 
you're getting fat. So then you have what? Diabetes. Then you have high cholesterol. Then you have this, then you have that. So we can start doing little things to improve our health. Just a little bit. Of course, I love pupusas by heart. Chodis and everything. Mm, that's amazing. Oh, yes. Two chodis and a soda. That's a perfect combination. Yeah. But can you imagine eating that daily? <laughs> yeah. So, guys, for example, that's I'm really happy that you are taking the time to speak and to use the vocabulary that you have. Great job. Guys, but let me give you some extra tip to help you improve, for example, the way that you would like to express yourself in this case, about giving solution for problems. There is a specific grammar that is really important for us and is really helpful when we are talking about our opinion about something. And is the infinitive. Do you remember how we construct infinitive? Do you remember? Any idea? Using to. Exactly. Using to and the verb. To this, to this, I'm going to give you some verbs. I already sent you to the to the chat that it will help you to use it when you would like to talk about, for example, environmental problems and the ones that we're talking about, about cancer, about traffic, whatever. You can say to fight for cancer, to stop global warming, to change a human beings eating behavior, to talk about uh, drugs, basically flattering to get permission to basically help people uh, with poverty for example those verbs are really important because it will help you to improve the vocabulary and to connect connect your ideas and to make you basically express yourself in a very understandable way you see, there are connectors connecting your ideas. It will be really helpful. And I'm so happy that you already expressed yourself very good. Very, very good. Excellent job. Isa, don't be like that. You're eating an apple and I'm starving by your heart. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. Uh-huh. Excellent. So now let me do me a favor. Let's do some... um activity together guys what i'm gonna do right now i need your help because i have for example six problems and i need to find one or more solution for each problems so let me right now share my screen with you and i need your help with that just allow me one minute let me go back do 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 there you go can you see my screen? Just let me know yes or no once you're able to see it. Yes. Are you able to see it now? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you see that in my left side are the problems? And in my right side, we have the solutions. The first problem, one way to reduce thymine is what would be the possible solution for that? Letter A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or H. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Maybe letter B, to train people in modern farming methods. Mm, that's good. That would be a possible solution. Is there the only one solution or we can have another one? So you said letter B. Okay. What else? Maybe uh, A two. Which one? A. First, A yeah to build more public housing. Okay. Yes. That will be because good idea they... as well. Uh huh. Excellent. Okay. Now, guys, do me a favor. The best way to fight cancer is number two. Any other solution? Oh my God. <laughs> to educate people on healthy 
lifestyle choices. Aha, uh -huh. to letter help D. with lifestyle choices? Letter D. Okay, you said letter, letter D. D. Uh -huh. What else? Uh -huh. That's it? Okay. What about number three? One way to stop political unrest is... What do you think? Letter T. That's F. I'm sorry. Letter what? F, F. you said? F. Uh huh. To provide letter C. Okay. Maybe say letter C to start free vocational training programs. Okay. What else? And also you said letter F. All right. Awesome. What about way to improve air quality? G. G. Okay. Yeah. Yes, you're right. Cleaner, yeah, cleaner public, public transportation. Letter. Very good. What yeah. about letter no number five? The best way to reduce poverty is to create Great. more Great. jobs for the employees. Better age. <laughs> awesome. And one way to help the homeless is letter A. Letter A. Very good. Awesome. Good job, guys. Now, just before we go and finish, I will I will need you to double check about the infinitives that we have here. We already know to talk, to get, to do, to fight, to change. But have you noticed that we have another ones as well? We have, you see, to build, to train, to start, to educate, to have to provide, to develop, to create. So now guys, when you are talking about problems or concern, you will be able to express yourself using infinitives. Remember, two plus main verb, that will help you join your ideas and basically will be more clear when you express your concerns. Guys, any doubts, any questions so far? No, teacher, I want to go home. I want to sleep. I'm sleepy. Yes, I understand, teacher. <laughs> and Claudia said, yes, teacher. I thought about that, but you say it. Good job. <laughs> All right, Claudia. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I know that has been a really tough day for you. Maybe you're angry. Maybe you're tired. Or maybe you're both. But you did an excellent job to be here. Thank you so much. Hey, guys, see you tomorrow, okay? Bye, Frank. Go go directly to the coach, okay? Into the bed. Bye-bye. Take care.